This is Ross for Castanato, interviewing Phil Ortiz at the January 2020 Pasadena Comics and Toys Show. So now, out of all the projects that you've worked on, which one is your favorite? Well, you know, it's, uh, I would have to say uh, my first job. My, I started working professionally as a cartoonist uh, at Hanna-Barbera back in 1978. And... Uh, it was, a big, it was the biggest thrill of my life to get hired. Cool. What was it like to work on those shows? It was exciting. It was so exciting because I used to just watch cartoons at one time for entertainment. And then before I knew it, I found myself doing, drawing the cartoons for television. Cool. And uh, getting paid for it, too. Cool. Very nice. Okay, and so when you first started working on The Simpsons, did you ever think it would one day become the major classic show that it is now? I didn't, and I'd say only a handful of people did until my, uh, my producer... Uh, I only worked on the show the first two seasons, and my producer, her name was Margot Pipkin. She, uh, she's a doll. She, uh, as soon as she hired me, she flagged me down at, in, the, in the hallway and said, Phil, don't go anywhere. We're going places with this show. It's going to be bigger than Taxi. It's going to be bigger than Cheers. And that's only because the uh, exec producers of those shows uh, were hired to work on The Simpsons, along with Matt Groening. Very nice. <clears throat> Did you have any favorite cartoons before you started animating? No. Uh, animating, uh, what do you mean? Uh, you mean uh, my favorites? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'd have to say Archie. Archie, the Archie characters. I used to collect the Archie comics, so. Very I'd nice. Have to say. Cool. Very nice. Well, thank you for allowing me to interview you. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure. Well, there you have it. That was Rosco Castanaro interviewing Phil Ortiz at the January 2020 Pasadena Comics and Toy Show. Over and out. Sorry.